name is Sean Dykes. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of American Kumo Mining Corporation, a company that's listed on the Toronto Venture Exchange with the symbol MLY. We also trade on the over-the-counter QX exchange in the United States with the symbol MLYCF. The company is focused on developing its Kumo deposit, which is a large Molly Copper Silver deposit. Our flagship project is Kumo, CU for co copper, MO for Molly, Kumo. It's located in a heavily disturbed, previously mined and logged area, approximately 45 miles northeast of the city of Boise in Idaho. During 2013, we made substantial progress of moving the company forward. The, the 2013 was a transitional year. We rebranded the company, changing its name, and basically focusing solely on the Kumo with no distractions. The company has also moved forward with the final stages of the environmental exploration permitting with the upcoming completion of a supplemental environmental assessment. Substantial time was spent working on the information and websites necessary to give investors the information in order to allow them to make informed and intelligent decisions. This material comprising of our websites, which we have two websites. The first one is our corporate website called Kumaco, that's C-U-M-O-C-O.com. And the second site is kumoproject.com, which is meant for the project. Overall, 2013 was a year of transition for us as we moved the company forward to develop the project. That's a definite yes. I can speak for myself. Both myself and my family have been buying heavily as every opportunity we can in this market. These markets are very rare. These are opportunities where assets are extremely undervalued in the market. So I look for over opportunities to invest in companies that have decent assets but that are undervalued. And Kumo is one of these projects. Kumo has all the aspects. It has basically low cost production. It is in a stable political environment for both ownership and taxes. It's also located in an area where you can get environmental permits and also has an experienced management team. Put all these factors in and that's why myself and my family invest solely in Kumo. Okay, during 2014 we've got several catalysts in our upcoming events. First of all is our funding event. We're currently doing a $25 million silver streaming uh, financing arrangement where basically for the first time small-scale investors can get involved in the lucrative silver financing stream business. This is a good opportunity and we're getting tremendous response from investors for this great opportunity. That funding will be used to create the catalyst for next year whereby we do an updated resource calculation. We have 14 more holes to add to the resource calculation. We do the next round of metallurgy, which involves a bulk sample. We also do the next round in the economic analysis, producing pre-feasibly level economics. And finally, we also want to continue the environmental baseline work, which collects the information and data required to make the informed decisions to get us to the permitting stage and the feasibility stage. So 2014 is the first year of a three-year program to get us to feasibility. So stay tuned as we grow this company through all these various uh, catalysts and events that are going to occur over this year and the next coming years. Well, that's difficult because I'm kind of biased towards things. Basically, I review probably dozens of companies and I get asked to review dozens of companies and projects over the months. And right now, I don't know of any project that's better than the Kumo project, given the market conditions. In these conditions, fast assets are undervalued, and investors need to examine the details. And again, on my four points, you have to look at, you're looking for low cost producers. You're looking for projects located in stable political environments where basically you guaranteed your ownership. You guaranteed your taxation levels. Thirdly, 
You've got to be located again in areas of not non-pristine wilderness, areas where you can get permits. And of course, you've got to have management. In today's market, there's a lot of people telling you the story that they've got the best this or the best that. In our case, we have that, we have the asset. So what we're doing here is moving the company forward, trying to get the value of the asset. And I have a mantra that I like to use. If the herd was right, they would all be millionaires. So why do investors follow the herd? They need to do what the herd is not doing. And right now that creates these huge opportunities. And so what I end up doing is I value assets based on those opportunities. And for my own investment purposes, I see Kumo as number one. I see a couple other companies like like for example, Northern Dynasty Ivan Platts with great projects, but they have one flaw or other in my main four points. So right now I can honestly say, I can't think of anything else I would rather invest in. Crisis is opportunity. And during these markets, for those who want to do the homework, you can find these opportunities and move forward.